Maybe I need some rehab, or maybe just need some sleep. I got a sick obsession, calculus in my dreams. I'm looking at all my homework, I'm making those desperate calls. I'm staying up all night studying, hitting my head against the wall. The integral is hard to find. I think about it all the time. I keep forgetting, don't derive. I just can't get it off my mind because calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug. Studying in two to one. I said calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug. Domain is number one. Won't listen to any advice My grades are telling me to think twice But enough to my own devices I'm addicted, it's a crisis My friends think I've gone crazy My math skills are getting kinda crazy My brains are gonna be affected If I keep it up like I studied out math And volume of donuts are hard to find Think about them all the time Disc and shell, my brain is fried I just can't get them off my mind because calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug. Studying in two to one. I said calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug. Domain is number one. I don't care what people say The grade is worth the price I pay I get so high when I get an A But crash and burn when I get an F Hey, so I got a question Do you wanna have a study party in my basement? Does this song make heart beat like an A to a drum? Can I have an A? An A? An A? A B Because calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug Starting in two to one I said calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug Domain is number one Calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug Starting in two to one I said calculus, calculus, calculus is my drug Domain is number one Hey, Mrs. Delman Mrs. Delman Mrs. Delman 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 This is number one Can I have an A? Do you like fish sticks? Then the Game of Life, Calculus Edition, is for you. Oi, it's me. Alright, Crocodile Hunter. Today we're going after a little bit of a different species. We're going after the Game of Life, Calculus Edition, alright? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find it. It's a very rare species. There's only actually one in the world like it. So, I've, I've been heard that there's rumors out here that it's going to be in this general facility, alright? So, we're going to proceed in this general direction. We need to be very stealthy though, it's a very alert animal. Very alert, it's a very tense animal. And if we get too close and we're too sudden about our movements, it'll be alarmed and it'll probably fly away because it has wings and such, you know. So, I've, oh, I, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a visual here, all right? All right, it's, see, it's right there in that bush. All right. Now, now there's there's a couple people that are bystanders there. It appears you you people need to move. You need you need to move out of the way. Right. All right. All right. So there we have it. It's a uh, it's it's in the uh, area over there. Right. Um, looks like approximately uh, 17 meters. Right. Um, all right. We're gonna have to keep this going stealthy now. All right. I do have my staff with me, so I can capture it if needed, right? So... Yeah. Alright, welcome back. It's uh, actually been 24 hours later. I haven't actually moved. Um, I saw the subject 17 over there. I mean 16, I already used the number 17 before. 
but here we are, 23 hours and 58 minutes later. I have not moved it. I saw it move, so I uh, I got a little bit alarmed and uh, I didn't want to move. All right, so we'll. Uh, I think it's it's safe to proceed forward now at the current moment. So I will continue forward. All right, here we go. Hey. Hey. All right. I still have a visual of it. I uh, didn't appear to alarm our guest to this world. Um, I don't know if it's actually an extraterrestrial object or not. There is only one of it in the world, so we have to be very careful with it. I don't want to kill it or make it leave this uh, land. All right. So, let's talk a little bit more about the objective. I do have a, uh, a useful tool here. Right? This is my tool. Um, it may look like a uh, broom handle with a little piece of rope attached to it, right? But in reality, it's actually a rake handle with a uh, little piece of rope attached to it. To uh, It's actually custom made to uh, attach um, the, uh, the Game of Life Calculus Edition to the end of the rope. You know, lasso it up just a little bit, and uh, then we can capture it and uh, do testing procedures on it and uh, do everything that we can to make sure that it doesn't die. But do everything that we can before it dies. Right. I think we're gonna need to proceed forward again. Doesn't appear to be alarmed at the moment. Ugh. All right. All right. So I did make a little bit of a movement with this extra rake here. I'll just toss it to the side. Boy, it's getting hot in here. I think I need to undo another button. All right. All right, we're still good. Let's uh, let's let's go. Uh, I think I think we're gonna head to the uh, the flower pots over there, right? Okay. Detour. All right. Still doesn't see me. I'm gonna have to provide some cover now. All right. Looks like we're still good. Now we need to keep our voices down a little bit more because we're getting very close to it, right? We don't want to be sudden, we don't want to be loud. It did just twitch, by the way. It just twitched, I saw that. I don't know if you saw that, but it twitched. It twitched, it moved. It does look like a very statuesque object, but it does move. On occasions. Oh, it just moved again. All right. Be careful now. All right, we're gonna have to take the long way around. I don't want to take a straight line at it, it, uh, it actually fears when people take a straight line at it. They prefer zigzag motions. However, no one's actually done it before. I'm the, actually the first person ever. So, uh, we're just gonna have to see how it works. That's, that's just what I've heard based on uh, former research. That uh, it, it tends to do that sort of thing. All right. I think we're gonna have to, we'll proceed this way. And then uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That did hurt a little bit. I haven't actually been able to move for three hours. I might have a spinal injury of so or something of the sort. But it's okay. I'm a man. I can muster up and do it. All right. So, uh... He might have... The, uh, the subject over there might have been... Alarmed a little bit when I made the gigantic thud with the ground um, coming in contact with my back. Uh, but I, I think it'll be okay. <sighs> that it was slightly painful. All right. We are going to proceed forward now. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be sure to uh, not hurt myself in the future. We, we will do that together, you and I. We will make sure I don't hurt myself. So, here we go. <sighs> By the way, I do all my own stunts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. I got him. I got him. I got him. Get him. Oh, this is a beautiful specimen. There we go. Look at this. Look at the fine printing here. We have C-A-L-C-U-L-U-S-E-D-I-C-I. I. Oh, he almost hit that eye. There is a minor <laughs> defect on this specimen, but you know what? There's only one in the world, so I don't even know if all the other ones are like this. So um, then we proceed to O and N. So you do see 
that we do have it right here. It does exist. All of the rumors are false. Um, those people in Mexico claim to have seen it. Obviously it wasn't there. It's actually here in my backyard. Um, so, there we have it. Um, you can actually see it's right here. And uh, judging from this uh, previous uh, documentation, you understand that this, uh, this, this creature, this, this game, it's a beast. Game of life. Calculus edition. So easy, the caveman can do it. Hey!